much are you willing to sacrifice? slaughtered like my brothers at the Black Gate. We need to build our army. This is just the beginning. Sauron will not stop until all of Middle Earth is dominated. We do not serve the Dark Lord! We'll take this land for our own! You fight for Mordor! You fight for the Bright Lord! Hmm. New devilry is this. I come for you, towns of Gondor. Try not to kill him too quickly. New ring. Shadow. It is perfect. I strike down men corrupted by these rings. Do not become one of them. When the time comes, I will do what is needed. Submit to your destiny. Run to your master and give him this message. I come for him. Interesting. Damn. <laughs> they wow. really, they really do shit all over <laughs> the, the canon of uh, Lord of the Rings. The, the new... This is a different. This is a different line than like Isidore and Aragorn and all that. Or I don't. Di- uh, he I... is not um, royal. He's just a. He's just a uh, yeah. Just, just, a, just a, ranger. a ranger. Just a ranger. Yeah. He was a range in the first game. He was a ranger, and his outpost was at, like inside Mordor, I guess. He was one of like the Ford Ford posts. And when uh, basic Sauron comes back, his post is one of the first attacked. He basically is killed, but uh, the elf spirit that is in you know basically mm-hmm. infesting him or in uh, or what do you would call? It? I can't think of the term right now. Um, but it's uh, taking him slowly, isn't it? Well, it, it's it, I don't know. I mean, you can't resist evil they, forever. They, 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 the elf's not evil. The elf is the original man who crafted the rings for Sauron, and he was betrayed by Sauron in the end and killed. So he's purely motivated by revenge, and he basically gives him an option to become a revenant. He's basically dead. Yeah. So that's Wait, the whole aspect. He cannot. This, so this elf made the rings. Is that what? Right. That's actually like that's actually true. Is that what leads Sauron to making his own rings later? No, he it's is not at all. Sauron in, in this, I, like I said, I can't tell you because I haven't read the Shemillion. I thought Sauron so made Buckingham. the rings himself, and that's that's that's, well, that's why he fucked them up so badly. Like, no, he didn't fuck them up, but he did it on purpose. Well, that was the thing is, is that this is supposedly the way this is sold. He was the the, the jeweler or whatever who made the rings. And the, the original, and that's what his character is, and then he dies, and he seeks revenge for what Sauron did to him. Hmm. So strange. Uh, it, let's know. put it this way: Does it really matter? Always, the lore is so. Yeah, cool. I always I thought it'd be yeah the whole even, second ring thing. <laughs> I always thought it'd be yeah. cool to go back and do like a prequel of when Isildur, the ring came to Isildur, and how he discovered its powers because he had it for a while before it took him. You know, he grew. 
he used it for quite a long time before. Yeah, 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 yeah it's, 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 whatever it is. Yeah, it'll. The, it, that is the, all the, the backstory. Yeah. That's all the backstory and all is the other uh, bane. And that I, gives you all the basic information for the stuff that happens I, before the Hobbit and before the, the, the trilogy. So. Yeah. I can't remember. Does this game, or the first game, I guess, take place after the Lord of the Rings? Or is this it prior takes, to? I think it takes place during. Oh, during. That's as far as I'm aware. But I, I don't know if it really goes into detail on that either. I can't really recall yeah. if it gives it a like time frame. So, uh, it seems Gollum, like they have... is, Gollum is in it. Oh, well, it's either so before or during. That yeah. would have to basically mean it has to be before, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's right before or a hundred years before. I mean, you got to realize yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. long period of time between when the actual ring was, you know, the, the battle originally and then them not throwing the ring in and then Sauron going into, like, you know, literally uh, hibernation. Yeah. So, so he, I mean... Yeah, I was just curious at how how fucked up they're making the the Lord of the Rings uh, story or if they're it, it somewhat like close to it with this not. new ring thing. <laughs> the new ring thing is really throwing It seems me. like they're free to just kind of and there's make no it up guarantee. as they go. Yeah, realistically speaking, Sauron's not even killed to a point either in the, in the original just for the simple fact because... just say realistically about a fantasy okay, movie okay okay I, I mean he's <laughs> not that, really in alive and dead yeah. in, in that world he, the ring just was basically the the, the key to his power so I, like i said who knows it's it's so far off it's it's lord of the rings it's it's kind of like battlefield one is a world war one video game but it's not really world war one well this is a lord of the rings video game but it's not really lord of the rings so it's the same lore, the same world, the same general feeling, but it has absolutely nothing to do with. Uh, well, I know, but when you say same lore, I I think there's a way it connects to what we've already seen and read, and it connects. It's Lord of the Rings. That's yeah. that's about the extent of it. Yeah, so you know the characters. <laughs> it's the world, and yeah. none of the character. Oh, but the only characters that are going to probably be in there that are going to actually have anything to do with it is going to be Sauron, Sauron yeah. and they might throw in Gollum again. Yeah. You know, so I mean, it's just that's about the extent of your what you're going to see from what you're going to notice familiar. Everybody else is just nobody characters that are just thrown in there. That'd be awesome if you so. could use Gollum like the jockey in Left 4 Dead. <laughs> <laughs> just all jump on people and grab them and drag them around. Drag them over to your character to kill them. Around, like, yeah. This <laughs> whole it, it looks like they're doing a whole light versus darkness, and yeah. it sounds like the ring is going to corrupt no matter what because of the magic behind it. So more than likely, this is going to have a moral system built into it. Yeah, the whole fact that yeah, they're like, well, he didn't make it, so it's you know uncorruptible. Well, he's he's dead yeah, right. anyway, which doesn't make any sense. He's a he is literally dead. Mm, yeah, no, he is. He's kind dead. The, the, he's dead. The beginning of the last game starts hey, dead, dead on the bridge. Energy. Didn't, they, didn't they show him though? What? I think they should. Yeah, look at that. They show at the be, they show at the beginning of the game, or who knows like what they, that is? Yeah. What that's Sauron. Yeah, but like when that is—is is that oh, during yeah. the game or is that you know? Yeah, but like I said, the the thing is, is that the main the main character escape is dead already. He's a brother. He's he's only a lot. He's he's a spirit that's basically trapped. He made he sold his soul to the elf to basically you know survive to a point. So that's the whole aspect why the character cannot be killed, even though you die. Because if you the whole the whole nemesis system is that's why you constantly keep coming back is. You cannot be killed in the game, mm -hmm. and that's why the orcs, whenever they kill you, always go, "How the hell are you still here?" You know, I cut your fucking head off. <laughs> so it's just that. Yeah. That's like I said, that was one of the things that made the thing interesting. But yeah, it's how they get around those... the whole video game aspect of dying and playing yeah. again. Yeah. And it was like I said, it was an interesting way to do it. But um, so yeah, it's and like I said, that was the other thing that's nice about it too is with the nemesis system in there. It wasn't as if your dying had no consequence, like a lot of games, where it's just like your death, you might lose experience or money or something stupid. And this one, you die and you've just given a lieutenant or created lieutenant, and eventually it'll get to that point where you're going to run away from that lieutenant crying because he's going to beat your ass like you owe him money. So <laughs> hey, it's it looks huge. I hope it's big. The, the original game was was very big in itself, but it wasn't as big as you think it would be. Yeah. Well, they so, said they were going to make the they're gonna make the whole system a little more robust this time around so this whole green dude thing is interesting yet again that's probably no lore what's something some weird new mad new magic thing yeah yeah so he night, looks like night vision orc 
it looks like he's being he's got the spirit of a Nazgul in him. I'm guessing. Yeah, that could be uh, that green glow that they had. It's in the V. Beginning. It's always V to turn on night vision. <laughs> <laughs> or N. So it, it looks like N. it's. This yeah, looks like it's too, got yeah. kingdom building in it. It looks like you're going to have a lot of character yeah. development. It looks like it's going to have a relatively good story. Yeah, there's it the whole thing about using... taking over the, you know, the the, the compounds or whatever, yeah. and making them your own, and and you're turning the orcs so. against Sauron, and yeah. I don't know who the hell she is. I'm sure she's some character that makes no sense. Probably some whatever. special elf or something. Yeah. So I mean, it's like I said, the a lot special of special it... elf, special elf, special elf. You know, one of the high elves or whatever. So I mean, I'm it, an it... elf. And that's Shelob, so but it's like I said, we'll see what happens. So it, 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 I'm, I'm definitely gonna pick it up probably because so I enjoy. Sar- it. Sauron, Gollum, and see that character and, right and there, Shilob. she makes the comment that she is already she's she killed the Nazgul or killed the people that were corrupted by the rings. And she warns him right there in the scene to yeah. uh, be careful not to become you know be succumb to the magic of the ring because yeah. then she'll kill him. So I'm, like I said, I'm I'm feeling that this is going to have a definite moral choice system in it, where probably if you do do certain things or activate certain abilities on the ring, it can it'll send you on the path to darkness or the path to light. So that, I mean, that, like I a, a constant, a constant decision making system where you're you're riding the whole light light. I never thing. I never see it. I, I any game that's there's never any game that offers moral choice is almost always going to offer two choices good and bad i mean even the most robust moral choice system i've played is you know mm-hmm. it always seems to be just on or off it's binary there's yeah. no real you know uh, great it's very, really hard to do isn't the whole philosophical is. thing is sometimes you have to make an immoral choice for the right you know the wrong yeah reason, but see the, the problem right is, is that we're, we're lucky we have video games that can even handle with half of what we're that trying to do i mean the problem with any type of thing like that is, is that if you write the storyline in a particular way and then add a moral choice into it, the storyline still has to reach the same virtual conclusion with other sort either storyline. Yeah. It's very rare that I've played games that have actually done it well. Um, the original Infamous, I think it was Infamous, the one where the guy gets superpowers like it was a PlayStation game, mm-hmm. that did a very, 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 very good job at it. Um, because the story, but the story in line at the end really just was like, wow it had a very amazing ending but most of these moral choice systems are jokes it's it's literally you know kill the villagers or save the villagers I have high hopes there's, for this. there's really yeah. no great no area. nuance yeah you know there's no nuance definitely so it's it kind of just kind of feels it gets a little bit dull after a while with that so yeah there's that green glow yeah yeah that makes sense Always with the glow. cool all right awesome well thanks for checking us out check us out on our other YouTube channels.